eight friends e f g h s t u and v are sitting around a square table in such a way that four of them uh, at four corners of the square table while four sit in the middle of each of the four sides right so if you try to you know visualize this uh, what happens there is a square table eight persons have to be seated now four of these eight persons are sitting in the middle of four sides and the remaining four are sitting at the four corners so this is what happens this is a square table let's say well it doesn't look like a square table you know in strict uh, form but then okay square or rectangle so four of them are sitting at the middle of the sides but all of these four are facing outwards and four are at the corners who are all facing center yes or no corners are facing center right four corners and four sit in the middle ha huh, the one who sit at the four corners face the center while those who sit in the middle of the sides face outside that's the arrangement okay so we can't apply a you know a blind rule that left is clockwise or right is anti clockwise generally what happens when all the persons are facing center we say left is clockwise right is anti clockwise if all are facing outward we say left is anti clockwise and right is clockwise but since this is a mix of both we we'll have to be careful for each person we we'll have to decide carefully all right so let's look at the actual data now right like we have done in the previous case multiple cases may arise so you may have to draw another table quickly replicate whatever has been done so far and then try out both the possibilities somewhere or other one of them we get ruled out the left out one is a right answer so let's start filling it up state statement 1 s is an immediate neighbor of both e and v s sits in the middle of one of the sides of the table now you know like i have told you earlier also while doing the linear arrangement that in case of a circular arrangement or in case of a closed arrangement we can start from anywhere on the circle we can start from anywhere on the table right there's no fixed position there's no first position if i ask you which is the first position you may say this is the first one i'll say this is the first one somebody else says this is the first one then there's one more person who says this is the first one all of us are correct nothing wrong for you if this is first this is second third in that in the clockwise direction for me if this is first this is second third in the clockwise direction for that fourth person who said this is first this is second third and fourth in the clockwise direction you getting it so doesn't really make a difference now here he says s is an immediate neighbor of both e and v when is it possible s is between e and v s should be between e and v now there are two possible cases it can be esv or vse in both the cases you see that s is between e and v yes or no s is between e and v s is here between now since there are two possibilities let us try draw one more circle one more square here itself right but and and the next point which he said is s sits in the middle of one of the sides s sits in the middle of one of the sides let us assume s is sitting here s is sitting in the middle so this is e then this would be v or or what's the other case the second possibility here is as follows right draw a table again quickly right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 i mean you need not draw those arrows you know that these persons are facing outwards anyway and these are facing center so if you can remember that well and good otherwise put arrows so s here b and e in this case so first point has been applied both the possible cases have been considered right s is in the middle and immediate neighbor of both e and b immediate neighbor of both e and b next point one person sits between e and h only one person sits between e and h e is here only one person sits between e and h h cannot come on this side h has to go there so h comes here only one person sits between e and h again h cannot come here so h has to go there are able to follow if you there are two ways actually only one person sits between e and h means what e gap h e gap h but since here we already have one person b you have to take h on the other side now whatever we do do in both the cases so that it becomes easy for us to complete it t sits second to the right of u look at this t sits second to the right of u but neither t nor u has been marked so can't really help continue reading u is not an immediate neighbor of e u is not an immediate neighbor of e but v so what what does this statement mean here u is not an immediate neighbor of e but is an immediate neighbor of v are able to follow so this point will definitely help us understand what is the position of u u should not be a neighbor of e e is already marked if you observe but he is not e is not a neighbor of sorry u is not an immediate neighbor of e but he is a neighbor of v so u is not a neighbor of e means what u cannot come in these two positions one of which is already filled but u is a neighbor of v now if u has to be a neighbor of v it cannot be this position because this neighbor is already s u has to come here fixed similarly here if u has to be a neighbor of v right u is not an immediate neighbor of e u cannot come in this position You cannot come in this position, but U is a neighbor of V means what? U has to come here. You cannot take this position, so U comes. 
Now, if you read the first part of it, T sits second to the right of you. T sits second to the right of you. Now, right of you, what will be right of you? Person is facing outwards. Right should be clockwise. Right? U is facing outward, right is clockwise. T sits second to the right of you. So, clockwise from U. Second. First and second. This should be T. Now, these two persons will fight. S is saying, I am always sitting here. How can you come? T says, no, no, I will sit here. Not possible. So, rule out. This is wrong. Because we cannot have two persons in the same position. So, this has to be correct. If this also goes wrong, then something is wrong with our uh, arrangement there, right? Let's check. T sits second to the right of U. U is facing outwards. Right is clockwise. Second to the right of U. First and second. T has to come here. Done. Two persons are left. Read the next statement. F is not an immediate neighbor of G. F and G both are not marked. Anyway, F and G will be taking these two positions and they will not be immediate neighbors, right? They are separated by two persons or four persons. So... Fifth point, by default is valid, right? G faces a direction opposite to that of U. Which means if U faces center, G will face outside and vice versa. So G faces op direction opposite to that of U. Now U is facing outwards. So G should face center. U is facing outwards, G should face center. Can G come here? No, because this is outwards. Can G come here? Yes, this center. So this is G. And if this is G, the other person will come here. Who is that other person? F. So if you start reading from S in the clockwise direction, S, V, U, G, T, H, F, T is the arrangement. I think like I said, appears to be complex, but simple. Right? It doesn't take more than two minutes, I would say, if you complete it. Right? However, it's, the strategy should be to finish that last five questions, which are from element series. Finish these questions and then come here. Right? How will you know whether this is easy or difficult? Only when you try. Now, after you try, you find out that this is complex, let's say. Which has taken 10 minutes. The trial has taken 10 minutes. What's the point? So never take that chance, right? Don't don't try to take any chance when it comes to arrangements. If it is a simple one, definitely go for it. Complex ones, try, but after you have finished the remaining part of the question. Now answering questions should not be difficult. How many people sit between F and G when counted from right side of F? Right side of F. What is right side of F? Clockwise, because F is facing outwards. So how many people are there between F and G? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 is the answer. Option P. Which of the following is true regarding F? Only 3 people sit between F and H. Only 3 people sit between F and H? No. This way, 0 people. This way, 6. That is wrong. F sits in the middle of one of the sides. Yes, F sits in the middle of one of the sides. Correct. So option 2 is the answer. Who sits to the immediate right of H? Immediate right of H. H is here facing center. Now, you know when a person is facing center, right is anti-clockwise. So, immediate right of H, go anti-clockwise. Who is immediate right of H? T. So, your answer should be option 5T. Then, four of the following five are alike in a certain way based on the given arrangement and hence form a group. Which one does not belong to the group? So, check it out. T, V, G, H, E. T, V, G, H, E. So, mark these persons T, V, G, H, E. What is common? See, four of these persons are at the corners. Except T, who is in the middle. So T should be the answer, option 1. Then what is the position of U with respect to E? What is the position of U with respect to E? U is here and E is here. With respect to E. So from E, how do you reach U? So if you see E is facing center, clockwise, means left. Center and clockwise is left. Left. How much left? First, second and third. So U is third to the left of E. Or we can say fifth to the right of E. Both are possible. Third to the left or first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Fifth to the right. Third left or fifth right? So third left or fifth right, what is given? Third left, option four. Third to the left, option four is the left answer.